Hello, hello everybody, I am Tip Top Gaming here today with another Magic the Gathering news video. Now in today's news video, we're going to be covering two topics. First, um, Wizards of the Coast is improving um, card stock, and they're also changing the default mulligan for all competitive formats and commander. So we're going to get into both of those. So starting with the probably one of the more, I mean, this one is probably more exciting, the other one is probably a bigger deal. So we're going to start with the more exciting one. Um, I'm just going to read this to you and then explain it. As early as June 7th, you might start noticing some slight variances to War of the Spark card stock. As we continue to look for more ways to make your playing and collecting experience the best it can be, we are introducing a new playing card paper from Magic the Gathering. Some of you might be aware that we began introducing different playing card board in the Japanese market several years ago. And in 2018, we expanded distribution of that stock to other markets with both Battle Bond and Ultimate Masters. This year, in our continued commitment to developing new and improved processes and materials, we're introducing another card stock to our por portfolio. While there are a multitude of reasons we're pleased with this new paper, in particular, we are happy with improvements in the areas of our development focus, surface consistency for printing, improved card cutting, as well as um, rigidity and snap. As always, we're committed to creating the best, sh uh, creating and shipping the best product uh, as possible, and we'll continue to explore new ways to improve upon our products and practices. And we look forward to players and fans getting their hands on the new paper and letting us know what they think. So, basically, they're saying, "Hey, you know, we had this paper, and now we're experimenting with new paper that should improve in the ink, that should improve in how they're cut, and improve in how they curl." Now, you can see that. Um, Right here, so surface consistency for printing. So a lot of times you'll see misprints where cards will be like, um, like either super dark or super light, um, like, and they'll just the colors will be all off. And so this should help with that. Improved card cutting. That is, in a lot of their facilities, they're using outdated card cutting um, equipment, and so this new card sock should make it easier to cut, causing uh, probably more centered cutting and like. Just less issues with cutting. And then rigidity and snap, that should just be like curling and basically like, I, I don't know, like how it like bends and stuff. I think this is a really great move. The only thing is they've said things like this in the past and it just hasn't been the case. They've been like, yeah, we've made it a lot better. And then, you know, it still has these issues. And so it's going to be interesting to see like is it very similar to the Japanese paper is it better is it purple or blue inside because I don't know if you know this but when you tear a magic card in half um there's um because magic cards are actually two pieces of cardstock put together and they have to use some sort of glue is it going to be purple or blue the purple ones generally are better so there's just still a lot of questions here because I, uh, I don't know if you know this, that is the entire article um but yeah now let's go into something that was announced I think yesterday so this instead of um Instead of reading all this, because there's a lot, I'm going to um, simply uh, just kind of go over it. So basically, during one of the Mythic Championships, they tried a new mulligan called the London Mulligan. It was in Mythic Champion London. Uh, ship London. Basically, instead of the current mulligan, where you would draw seven cards, and if you chose to mulligan, you draw six, and then scry, and then draw five, and then scry. Instead, what you're going to do is you're going to draw seven, then... Um, uh, you're gonna draw seven, and then if you want to mulligan, you draw seven again, and then, say you want to keep that, you take one card from the seven and put it on the bottom of your library in any order. So you could do that all the way down to, like, one card. So, if you, where you would normally have one card, you would end up taking seven cards, and then taking six of them and throwing them on the bottom of your library. It allows for combos, which is, it's negative and why it's so controversial, but it's also really good because... You know, you might draw that six land hand, or that's, uh, you know, instead of drawing, you, know, you get more choice in your hand after you mulligan, so you're not stuck with these bad land hands. And so I think that's the real purpose here, is to make sure that you get the right amount of lands, but it's super controversial. Now, something to note, this will, uh, this starts with Corset 2020, which starts in July, um, and then... Like, that'll go on, and it will be in places like MTG Arena. It'll be in alt competitive tournaments, and they even announced that it'll be happening in Commander. So this will be the new official rule for Commander. You'll also see it on Magic Online. And they say they uh, changed it because 
they saw more consistency and they interviewed a bunch of pros, which I don't think is the right thing to do. I think they should have interviewed, you know, the, the audience that makes up 99% of their uh, profit and their player base and seeing what they thought, because I honestly think this is just going to cause a lot more degenerate combos because you're more likely to be able to get them off. Because instead of drawing only four cards, you actually draw seven and then you can just take those combo pieces, keep those and get rid of the rest. Like... You know, it, it just allows for more degenerate th things to happen. But overall, I think that with some adjustment, it could actually end up being some pretty good rules. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe. It really means a lot, and it's free. Um, so yeah, see you guys in the next one. Bye.